Welcome to Karn 3D on the Tube. Uh, let me start off showing you this animation preview of a project I'm working on. This is still very much a work in progress. But uh, I'm using instancing, which is something we'll do with in another video. But uh, let me go and render a frame from this sequence. Okay, here it is. And if you look here, you see that it took 30 minutes and 25 seconds to render that image. Here's the image again. Wow. So, then I went and I made one change. That's one change to this scene. And I re-rendered. And here's the result. Not much different, you might think. And it isn't different. It's pretty much identical. But take a look at the rendering time. 14 minutes and one second. That's less than half of the previous time. Here's the previous one. 30 minutes, 25 seconds. Pretty significant, I would say. Wouldn't you? I thought so. So what did I change? What is this one thing that I changed? Well, I tell you, I changed a shrubbery. That's right. A shrubbery. Stop that. So, let's load this shrubbery Stop. into a separate scene all by its lonesome and take a look at it. Okay, here it is loaded into Lightwave. A single shrubbery. Uh, and uh, here it is rendered. Pull it up there. It's pretty simple. It's got a transparency map and a color map on the leaves. Let's take a look at that in this surface editor. Color map. There's a color map. Transparency. There is a transparency. Let's take a closer look at that transparent image. There it is. Okay. It doesn't need to be super high res because it's a little tiny element of the image, as you saw. So, what was the one thing I changed that uh, more than doubled my rendering speed? Well, I'll tell you. I got rid of this. If you don't need to use transparency, don't use transparency. Let's turn that off. Okay. Uh, instead, select my object here and I'm going to hit P for properties render clip map okay that last image that I rendered was 2 minutes and 24 seconds so let us put that clip map image as a clip map and see what the difference is probably not going to be a huge difference because it's only one single shrub and we render. Okay, the rendering's done. 2 minutes 14 seconds as opposed to 2 minutes 24 seconds. So, shave a little time off there. And you can see it looks identical. Now, technically in all cases it will not look identical. But in this case because my image is black and white only, non-anti-aliased, there is going to be zero difference between using a clip map or a transparency map. Except for the speed, of course. Uh, in clip maps, you can only have black or white. You cannot have any shades of gray in the middle. At some point in the middle, everything that's lighter than mid-gray will become clipped. In other words, it doesn't render. Everything that's darker than mid-gray will, will render. So, uh, this will not uh, help you in all scenarios, but uh, if you're clever, let's say, it will help you in most scenarios. Uh, for example, uh, let's say your scene has a car, and cars have windows, and let's say these windows are slightly tinted. Well, what you would do here is you would separate those windows 
into a second object, second layer, and then you would tell the layer or the object with the windows not to cast shadows. And then that saves you time right there. If it doesn't have to trace the transparency, you'll save time. And of course, if it's only mildly tinted, the difference in the rendering is going to be very, very slight. Not enough to warrant the extra rendering time. Unless, you know, this is a super high quality required. So, um, that's about it. Um, also keep in mind that uh, the size of my clip map compared to the size of the leaves in the ultimate rendering you know when it when it shrinks it down that small and does the anti-aliasing on top of that it's going to look like it was a true transparency map with anti-aliasing anyway so there you have it uh, I just saved you lots and lots of time so now you can give me five stars and subscribe and name your firstborn child after me okay I'll see you next video take care